Uh, what are we witnessing right now? You're seeing it up close and personal. What are we witnessing right now? Well, on the lighter side, um, the, you know, the, the Jokic 30-20-10 triple-double, which we've never seen in the finals game, he's actually done that three times in these playoffs, I mm. think. But but we've never seen that in the finals game, and you're watching it in real time like, wow, this is this is insane. This, this is an utterly dominant performance. <laughs> and then, you, you know, they take him out, and the Heat or the Nuggets are up 15, and Jamal is still out there. And, up oh, there's another bucket. Up oh, there's a foul shot. Uh, oh, geez, now he's over 30 points. And then with nine seconds left, they're up 15. He gets the last rebound of the game. All of a sudden, now he has a triple-double. And it's like, oh, so now this is literally something that has never happened in any game ever. And you didn't really see it coming because some of the some of the rebounds and a couple of the points were you know were at the end of, of um, like I, almost garbage time. But it to to the broader point, like you have these two guys who are playing in their first finals, they're playing together, and they are performing better than most people ever have in their um, in their first three finals games. And you know, I made this comparison earlier in the series that. The Heat, the way they talk about ha- having to defend the Nuggets is the, I'm telling you, is mm. the way the Cavs used to talk about defending the Warriors. Now, I know it's different. I know the personnel is different. But when you talk about the amount of pressure that the Nuggets put on you, uh, it is very similar to what the Cavs used to say. Like, there's just, it's so complex and it's so difficult to figure out how to just even get in, in Jokic's way. And that's what the Heat are trying to do here. Senior NBA writer for the Athletic, Joe Varden, joining us here on the Rich Eisen Show. Mike Hill filled in for Rich today. Uh, it seems like it's going to come down to the role players uh, for both of these teams, for the Heat and the Nuggets. Obviously, uh, Bam and uh, Jimmy are going to get theirs. Uh, and, of course, we talk about Murray and, and Jokic. Uh, is there a concern uh, f- from both sides when it comes to Michael Porter Jr. Uh, for Denver and anybody stepping up for the Miami Heat for both sides f- to, the, to get the others more involved in these uh, in the basketball game? No, I, I don't think so. I, I would um... – I, I know what you mean with Michael Porter Jr. After a really nice game one, he has not been good. Um, he has not been good in, in games two or three. And then you think you talk about Aaron Gordon, and it's, it's, he was awesome at the beginning of game one, and, and then not much of an impact in two and a little better in three. But, but those, the, the, the Nuggets have enough, and then you have Jokic and Murray, who are so dominant. Um, that they they can be the drivers. When when I think about the Heat, um, there's a couple points I want to make. One, Jimmy has not played well yet Mm-mm. in this series. He was their leading scorer in Game Three, but he was 11 of 24 shooting, and that was about 20 minutes after saying, "Well, I'm not a volume shooter and I'm not a scorer." And he kind of went out and uh, and tried to take control and couldn't. So they need him to be the playoff Jimmy that we know. Um, but the other point I want to make is we talk and talk and talk about the Heat and they have undrafted players, and so this is all a surprise and role player this and role player that. I, I think we underestimate or undervalue the actual talent on that team. Like Gabe Vincent is talented. Yes. He is a legitimate NBA player. Max Struess is the same thing. You know, he's a little bit streaky, fine. But he's a two-way player and and, uh, and and can be a 40% three, three-point shooter, you know. And, and um, you know, obviously Kyle Lowry is a former champion and a former all-star. and Just on down the line. So so I, I like both teams. I like the series. You know, we, we say that the Nuggets are favored because they, they've they been better all year and they have the best player. But, you know, I, I, I mean, th- I don't think this is a series where one team says, Eureka, we figured the other side out. I think it's more like, both teams play their style um, and and hope that they can sort of will themselves through in the series. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.